The longshoremen prepared a strike or are striking, and they're going to shut America down. And this is why I despise unions. We have the union boss who's a thug and a kingpin on the show. Welcome to John Mike Keen. Let's look at the kingpin from Spider-Man. These people today don't know what a strike is. When my men hit the streets from Maine to Texas, every single port will lock down. You know what's going to happen? I'll tell you. First week, be all over the news every night, boom, boom. Second week, guys who sell cars can't sell cars because the cars ain't coming in off the ships. He's relishing and happy that guys aren't going to be able to sell cars. They're ready to, they want to shut down business. The worse it is for America, the better the Teamsters can uh, negotiate their contract to get them more money. Most of it goes to these union leaders and all of the union leaders, which we saw, support Kamala Harris. So this guy's already on my list. They get laid off. Third week, malls start closing down. They can't get the goods from China. They can't sell clothes. They can't do this. Everything in the United States comes on a ship. They go out of business. Construction workers get laid off because the materials aren't coming in. The steel's not coming in. The lumber's not coming in. They lose their job. So this guy's trying to protect his job. Not They're not gonna lose their job, by the way. They're just not, they don't have enough salary in their collective bargaining. But he's willing to let other blue collar workers, all of them lose their job. Therefore, I have no compassion for any of these dock workers uh, because of the union. It's not the workers themselves. I love blue collar workers. I love men who go out and do a hard day's living. But this guy, this man is a scumbag. Everybody's hating the longshoremen now because now they realize how important our jobs are. No dirtbag. I love the longshoremen. I don't hate them. I hate you. They want to work. So everyone needs to stay focused. And I don't uh, think that your job is important. I think it's very important. The free market, and that's part of collective bargaining. This is the free market. But you're going about to get smacked upside the face with what the free market's going to do to the Teamsters. Uh, I say we break them. Break them and fire all of them to break this union. At a time when we have a disaster on our shoreline, at a time when America is an economic disaster, you put the screws down on fellow American workers and you're going to choke it all out. Now I have the president screaming at me. I'm putting a Taff Hartley on you. Go ahead. Taff Hartley means I have to go back to work for 90 days. That's a cooling off period. Do you think when I go back for 90 days, those men are going to go to work on that pier? They're not going to go to work because you'll break their knees, you thug, mafia boss thug. It's going to cost the money, the company's money to pay their salaries. Well, they go one from 30 moves an hour, maybe to eight. They're going to be like this. Who's going to win here in the long run? So they're not going to work hard. They're not going to, they went from 30 moves to an hour. They're going to do the minimum to eight moves an hour. I got two words for you, buddy. Ronald Reagan. When the air traffic controllers thought they'd shut down the airport by uh, striking, he fired them all or threatened to fire them all. Said, if you walk off the job, you will all be replaced. And I suggest they do the same thing. Now, doddering Joe Biden won't do any of this because he's comatose. Same with Kamala Harris. Trump is the one you want to go in to negotiate with union bosses. He speaks their language. You're better off sitting down and let's get a contract and let's move on with this world. And in today's world, I'll cripple you. Oh, that's nice. You're so nice. You're going to cripple us. And I'm supposed to be on your side? Uh, go pound sand. He, he's all, just sit down at the table. Let's negotiate. No, we do not negotiate with him. This guy should be a, a labeled a domestic terrorist. I will cripple you. And you have no idea what that means. Nobody does. Yeah, I guess we're going to find out. What a nice guy. Uh, I hope you lose everything. I hope you lose the negotiation. I hope the government uh, breaks you. I hope the people turn against you, not the longshoremen, not the workers, but the union. Meanwhile, here's Fox News reporting the port strike 
It's going. That we have all been living under for the past four years. They say that their wages are not adequately keeping up with the cost of living increase and that they need these wage increases reflected in their next contract so they can just keep up and get. Yeah, and you're supporting Kamala Harris and now the workers are complaining about inflation. So you guys go talk to your union uh, leaders who are supporting Kamala Harris and causing inflation. Don't come complain about it when you support this candidate. See this? I have no sympathy for these people. And guess what? Everyone is buckled under inflation. The same uh, carpenters you'll put out of work, the steel workers you'll put out of work, the malls you'll pull out of work, they're also suffering under inflation. So you don't get a little lollipop, you cry baby. We're all suffering under inflation. How about you vote for and support a different candidate, you bum? I've also been talking to the members here on the ground, the individuals here that are now taking to the picket line. They tell me one of their top concerns, inflation. That's every union bum ever. I used to belong to the writers union in Hollywood. What a bunch of crybabies. We're not getting paid enough to write TV shows. I hope you all get fired. I hope you all lose your job. I hope the market turns on you. I hope the people turn on you because we don't, that is not a fair deal to have you sit at the table and threaten to shut America down and walk off when we need these goods and services moving. I'm John Mike Keen, and I'm furious.